In this video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on my latest Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com. I've been doing quite a bit of work on the site, including increasing the site's speed, adding more content, and adding a favicon. I also wanna talk about the recent posts Elementor widget that I've been using on the homepage. A number of you have pointed out that that widget is actually a premium widget, and I know that there's quite a few of you that wanna create the site without spending too much money, so I've got a free alternative that I'm gonna share with you as well. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, why not do it right now? You can do so by clicking on the button below, the red button that says subscribe, make sure that you click the bell then you'll be notified when I upload new videos and when I go live, which tends to be every single Wednesday. You might also be wondering where I got such a cool t-shirt from. <laughs> They're available on wpeagle.com. Do go check them out. There's also hoodies, mugs, and sweatshirts available too. So anyway, this is update number two on my most recent Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com. And by the way, I've created a handy playlist for all of my videos around this website, including the very first video, which is the full length tutorial on how I created the site. I'll put a link to the playlist up in a card right now, and you'll also find a link in the description of this video. I'm gonna try and create a video every single week around this website where I share with you the work that I've been doing on the site, as well as the traffic the site's getting and the earnings that I'm generating from the site. Speaking of traffic and earnings, traffic to the site has increased slightly, and that includes organic search, which is also on the up, which is a good sign. It's still early days yet, so I'm not too worried. And you gotta remember when it comes to affiliate marketing sites, you do need to have quite a bit of patience because it does take some time, especially if you're using a new domain name for the site to get indexed by Google and start getting some rankings. In terms of earnings, no earnings just yet, but there is still a steady supply of clicks going over to Amazon. So it's only a matter of time until something happens on that front. So anyway, let me share with you what I've been up to on the site. The first thing is I've been adding some more content. I've added a couple more articles and I've got another three or four in Word document form that I need to add. In terms of the layout of the articles, they're pretty much the same as the previous ones. I've been adding some YouTube videos, but this time I also used some bullet points using the Elementor bullet point widget. It's really easy to use and you can add a nice icon to the bullets, uh, change the color and they just look a little bit more interesting than your standard WordPress bullet points. I've also added a site icon or favicon as it's also known. I was kindly sent one by a regular Steve. He pointed out that I hadn't added one to the site, so he knocked me one up, emailed it over, and I've added it to the site. If you wanna add your own favicon, just go into customize under appearance, and then click on site identity, and you'll see all the settings in there. You can upload your image. The image should be around 512 by 512. And I think they look best with a transparent background. Another thing I've been playing around with on the site is the performance. Now the site was already really fast because I'm using SiteGround Hosting, which is my favorite host at the moment, uh, based on my recent WordPress hosting tests where I took out a whole load of hosting packages with lots of different companies and set up exactly the same site on each one and tested them all out for speed and performance and features and support. SiteGround were the fastest, very closely followed by A2 hosting. So yeah, the site was nice and fast on SiteGround, but in terms of page speed scores, which is Google's way of testing site speed, by the way, you can test your site speed on Google PageSpeed. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description, just enter your URL and it will give you a score out of 100. So I was getting around 24 out of 100 on the mobile site and 58 out of 100 on the desktop site. And I just thought I can get better scores than that. Now, if you're looking to improve the performance of your site, you can of course follow along with what I'm about to show you. But I would recommend that if you're not with SiteGround or A2 hosting and you're with some other host, the quickest way to improve the performance of your site is to move hosting, is to move to a faster host that's got faster servers and just generally better performance. And as I said, I found that SiteGround are the fastest when it comes to that. You'll find a link in the description to SiteGround. It is an affiliate link, but if you use it, you will get a discount. And if you do use it, thank you. I really appreciate it. So what I did to improve the performance of the site and get those page speed scores even higher 
was to install a caching plugin. And my favorite caching plugin is WP Fastest Cache. Now with SiteGround, they do provide you with their very own performance plugin. You'll see it uh, down left hand side, it's called SG Optimize. And in there, there's a few options with regard to GZIP and compression and minifying the CSS and all those kind of interesting things that you could do to increase the performance of your site. However, I found that this plugin wasn't actually <laughs> improving my page speed scores. I, I went through and I turned all that stuff on, ran the site through uh, Google Page Speed Score, and yeah, there wasn't much of an improvement. So I've disabled the SiteGround uh, caching plugin and, and optimization plugin. And as I say, I've gone for my favorite, which is WP Fastest Cache. Now WP Fastest Cache comes in a couple of different flavors. There's the free one and the premium one. I've gone for the premium one because I found that gives you the biggest performance boost. You'll probably be fine with the free one, but if you wanna really push your site and get those really high Google page speed scores, then I definitely recommend going for the premium one. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. Just install the free one and you'll see a link to upgrade. I think it's like $49, it's, it's not too bad. So yeah, I installed the WP Fastest Cache Premium plugin. I went through and turned on all the options that are required, which is pretty much all of them. Save the settings. I then also installed another plugin, which is the EWW Image Optimizer. I'm not quite sure how you say it. Is it EWWW or is it EWW? I don't know. It's free anyway, and it optimizes all your images. This is really good because Google is hot on image size and making sure that they're all fully optimized. And, and this plugin takes care of all of it for you. To get the best out of this plugin, it's a good idea to get hold of an API key. And you can get one just by sharing your usage data. You should see a pop-up when you install the plugin that says, would you like a free API key? Just click allow, uh, and then they'll send you an email with the API key. I wouldn't worry about a bit of usage tracking. I mean, everyone does it, don't they? So with these two plugins installed and all of my images fully optimized, I ran the site back through Google PageSpeed Score, and I saw quite a good improvement. The mobile score jumped up from 24 to 62, which I know is still kind of average according to Google, but that's actually pretty good because Google is really harsh now when it comes to scoring sites on the mobile front. And I think anything above 50 is, is really good. So yeah, I was happy with that. The desktop score jumped even higher, scoring an impressive 92 out of 100, which is a green circle. So yeah, very happy with that. So if you're looking to get your site running super fast, I'd recommend WP Fastest Cache combined with the Ooh Image Optimizer plugin. And you should see some really great scores on Google PageSpeed and your site should just you know, feel super fast when you're browsing it. The last thing I wanna talk about in this update is the recent posts widget for Elementor that I've been using on the homepage. Now in the main tutorial, the full app tutorial, I went through how to add the recent post to the homepage and I inadvertently used a widget that's part of the premium ultimate add-ons extension that I was using for the tables and other cool stuff. Now, a number of you have been in touch and said that you can't add the recent post because you haven't got the ultimate add-ons extension or you haven't upgraded to Elementor Pro. And with the free Elementor, there isn't actually a decent recent post widget, which I thought was kind of weird, but yeah, there just isn't. So I've had a look around and tested out a few extensions that are free that offer the same functionality and allow you to lay out your recent posts uh, really nicely. And the best one, in my opinion, out of the few that I tested is called Sizify. As I said, it's a free plugin. You can find it in the WordPress plugin directory. Just search for Sizify, I think you'll find it. Install it and then it adds a few extra widgets to Elementor, one of them being the recent post one. It works pretty much in the same way as the Ultimate Add-ons version. You just drop it onto your page and then you've got a load of configuration options to do with styling, how many posts you wanna show, how many columns, how many rows, whether you want shadows, uh, pretty much anything you need to. So you'll be able to get that looking pretty much the same as the one that I'm running on my site. That brings us to the end of this update video. Hope you found it useful and you're gonna go off and improve the speed of your website. I'd love to hear how you're getting on with your sites. Do leave me a comment or question below. I do read all of the comments that I get and I do my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle. If you'd like to go check out my vlog channel, it's up there. Not uploaded for a little while, but it's still got some good videos all around, you know, making money online and motivation and business and all that kind of stuff. There's also a couple of other videos that have appeared. They've been chosen especially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.